is really what nostalgia smells like. Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be an Otherland candle review. Now, I'm laughing because Otherland has been featured on my channel two times before. Once four years ago when the brand launched and once about two years ago when I ranked them as one of the worst candle brands. And let me just say, what's old is new again. And 2023 is all about growth for me. It's all about really learning. And obviously I moved into a new space and obviously my home has a lot more rooms than a big open studio. So I decided to give Otherland candles a try. Now, Full disclosure, I did pay the $98 or $89 for this myself. Just got it delivered literally today. Have not sniffed any of these yet. This is the Otherland 90s, carefree 90s collection. Now, a little bit of a background. When Otherland was still in development, they actually invited me to New York City, the founder Abigail and someone else. And we had brunch and we talked about ideas on the fragrances, etc. And uh, yeah, so then the brand launched and I tried their candles. I uh, knew a little bit about them beforehand. And honestly, I was not impressed. Now, one, I was very young then and naive. And I was reviewing everything and anything. If it had a wick and a scent, I was reviewing it. I have been on YouTube for over a decade now, and I've definitely grown and evolved, and I will link both videos down below. My original Otherland review, as well as the Worst Candle Brands video. So, I'm not hiding that, I'm not hiding those videos. You can feel free to look at them, but I'm here to give them another shot in my new apartment. Again, full disclosure, I don't know if I'm gonna like these or not, this is purely a cold sniff review, clearly just going to see what the brand looks like now four years later. Now, I remember whenever the brand first launched, they were trying to be the Glossier of candles, and they are still a online, like an online retailer. I believe they do have a store now in New York City. I have not been there, but I am on their website now, and I mean, the brand has definitely grown a lot since original launch, which awesome. That's awesome for them. I'm so happy that, you know, they are successful and we always need a new candle brand. I know so many people have their own candles now, but I've been seeing so many people online talk about the other land candles and how strong they are. And I love a good, strong candle. And I was on the website and I was actually listening to my favorite podcast, Smell You Later with Tynan and Sable. They are some awesome Instagrammers I've been following for a while now. And they have their own fragrance podcast. So I've been listening to that a lot. And they were having the founder on and I was listening. And like I said, I've met her. I've chatted with her. Her name is Abigail. And I was just really like, am I going to get sucked into buying more other land candles? Yes. So without further ado, let's get into it. I decided to pick up the whole entire Carefree 90s collection. So I see that they're still doing the trio of candles. So it looks like this. So this is like the outer shell of the box. Yes, there are matches in here. And then the sleeve comes off like that. And then you are presented with your three candles just like that. Now I am on the website and Abigail has a little quote saying, knowing that scent is the strongest trigger of memory, I was inspired to create this nostalgic collection around my favorite decade, the 90s. From Clueless to Clarissa and Lip Smackers to Lava Lamps, this is my daydreamy tribute to growing up. Now, full disclosure, I was born in 1997, so the tail end of the 90s and even then, I mean, I was three years old. I'm never going to remember like the 90s and the scents, but I do have an idea of like what these fragrances did smell like back then. But anyway, so there's three fragrances in the collection. I'm pulling right from the site. I have not smelled these yet. First up, we have this beautiful lilac color. I am a sucker for the color and I see the jars haven't changed. The labels have changed slightly just based on like whatever the fragrance is. And then we do have 
our lid here, which is like a cardboard coaster. It has the name of the fragrance here, Dreamlight, and then it has the notes. So it says Wild Freesia, Plush Plumeria, and Juicy Tangerine. Put on your best platform platforms and body glitter as notes of Wild Freesia and Plumeria combine to channel your inner Gap Girl Pop Princess. All right, first sniffs. So again, we have our little cardboard, and it does actually say on here, do not place on lit candle because you never know and here it is white wax one wick and i know that the gap perfumes were really really popular in the 90s i've never smelled them this really just smells like like a light body care floral to me i'm not really too crazy about it yeah wild freesia plush plumeria and juicy tangerine it smells like a light fruity floral. Uh, I know people are saying that these candles are super strong. On cold, not super strong to me, but we shall see. This is obviously a cold sniff review, so it just smells like a light floral. Again, I'm not really sure on the references. The next one is this very, very light blue color with a daisy and some flowers on it. And this is Blue Jean Baby. And it says this soft florally musk is inspired by those perfect Calvins and dreamy visions of Monet's water lilies. Washed denim, white musk, and mimosa flower. So we have that one right here. Again, just white wax, one wick. I've smelled a lot of denim fragrances before. They don't smell like this. I was expecting this to smell like that denim fragrance. It definitely does not. It's definitely like a soft white floral though. Not bad. Just not what I expected. I expected this to be like a very bright, like, like a clean, fresh laundry denim scent. Not really, like I said, I'm really getting just like a light scent. And if you see me rubbing the wax, it kind of just warms up the top so that way you can get like a little bit of a truer fragrance. Yeah, I'm just getting like that very light white floral. So nothing too crazy on cold here. So we shall see. And then last but not least, the one that I was actually really excited about is Gloss Pop. Obsessed with the color, like so fun, that pink. And then the lid is also so, so fun. And this says, the scent soundtrack of your girl gang sleepovers. Layer of sweet strawberry, hard candy, and rose will have you longing for pastel man manicures and TGIF marathons. So let's see here. Oh, this smells like, this definitely smells like, like a strawberry lip gloss. Absolutely. Like a bright strawberry lip gloss. It smells good. I definitely don't really get anything else. But like a strong, stra like a light strawberry lip gloss. Like a strawberry candy. So we shall see. Again, this is a cold review. A short, sweet little video. I just wanted to show you guys the candles. And have you guys tried Other Land? What are your thoughts? Definitely leave them down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.